What is up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters? This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach. Totally worth a 5 out of 5 for today. And the title of this episode is, I'm not sure, I'll hear that out when I get back to the studio. But I can tell you this, yesterday flushed out both weekends. It was a good thing. Flushed out both weekends and liquidated over leveraged longs, which is why I never leverage trade. And I got a lot of comments in the comment section last night. Congratulations to you all who indeed bought that dip and got the dip last night. And what I didn't realize a lot of times in these liquidation and these big mega crashes, the, um, the candle wicks can just be absolutely wicked. And so that's what happened, not the candle body, but XRP, it wicked all the way down almost to 50 cents. It was like 50 and a half cents. Blew me away, 50 and a half cents. And uh, so anyway, so for those that got in on that, you're looking at, you wake up today, we're looking at a 59 cent XRP, just about totally recovered. Uh, you just instantly got well over 15% return within 24 hours. Congratulations to y'all. And uh, welcome my new 50 subscribers from yesterday's video. So we close in on 10,000 subscribers. We're only a little over 900 away now. So excited. So thank you so very much. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notifications, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for Thursday. And in the comments, we'll move on with this episode by YouTube says XRP 007 is better than therapy and cheaper. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's also my own personal therapy and stuff. I kind of get grounded with whatever is kind of moving in the markets and try to just say, okay, stay the course. Also in the comments, property R-L-L-I-T-C-A says, uh, if you want to be very, very, very wealthy, he says, buy one million flare and says when F asset starts and layer cake, it will get to a dollar within the next two years. Uh, it's pretty exciting news for me. I'm actually now over 840,000 flare and should be at a million flare in about three months from now by the end of March, which is pretty exciting news. Where I'm at in two years is pretty neat. I may be twice as much, cross my fingers on that because of the passive income. But anyway, uh, so yeah, the all time high on flare was $2.45 over on um, BitTrue. It was traded as an IOU over there. And so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Does, does it get back to a dollar within two years? That'd be wonderful. Uh, and then also, but my question is, what is the price of XRP going to be within two years? 24 months. Comment down below what you think the price of XRP. I think it's going to be far, far, far. Of course, that's a huge gain to go from where we're at now to a dollar. Because right now, currently, Flare is somewhere like around uh, under two pennies. It might be about one and a half, one and a half cents right now. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have a little fun in the weekly tide report. I was going to squeeze it in this one, but I uh, got a little long-winded on this one, and so I want to make sure I can have a little fun with it for tomorrow. So, but it did leave me last night feeling like I was ready for champagne popping, house shopping, and island hopping. So we'll have a little fun with that and some crunching numbers. Did you know back in 2013-14, the Federal Reserve was the first entity to acknowledge Ripple and XRP as a moving money as a bridge currency? Don't believe it, it's true. And last night I watched a really cool video from Zach Humphreys, which I enjoy his channel. His videos are short and succinct. And the title caught my episode, said uh, $1,000 into a million dollar challenge. I said, oh boy, I like challenges. I said, I gotta watch this. It wasn't really a challenge per se, it was more of a question saying, if you put in $1,000 into XRP, is that enough to become an XRP millionaire? We'll kind of recap what he came up with. Uh, at $1,000 worth of XRP at the current price, so it will take 58 cents. Anyway, XRP would have to rise to $580 per XRP in order for you to become a millionaire. Uh, that would leave a market cap for uh, XRP at $31.4 trillion. And when this was posed to Zach Humphreys, he said, is that possible? He said, yes, but he says, like in Shrek, it is far, far far away like he was just kind of indicating like decades so he did move the needle and he said well hmm let's play devil's advocate what if we up the ante and we'll throw in five grand I know that's a lot of money for people let's say you got five grand in XRP as you put it in today uh, can you be a millionaire is it plausible and so he crunched the numbers on that and at five grand XRP would have to go to a hundred and twenty dollars 
and that changed his perspective. And he said, yeah, I think it can do that. And I said that, he says, I think that is a very obtainable, uh, obtainable. Here's where I differ from him though. He says the time frame to get there, he says is five to 10 years. No telling when he thinks it will reach the uh, 580, like three decades from now. But he said five to 10 years for it to reach this $120. And he said, and his, all of his kind of estimates were based totally on market cap because XRP would have a market cap of 6.5 trillion, to which I said, uh, you know, that's, you know, for me, uh, you can take market cap and throw it out the window, uh, XRP and its price, if you understand the asset itself, it's, it's a bridge currency and it's based on what it, what value is moving across XRP and the XRP ledger. So anyway, so, um, and this is the sizzle and stake on that $120 because in the other day's video, I was talking about how the total market cap by the end of 2025, less than 24 months away, away two years away, that total market cap could be 50 trillion to 80 trillion dollars. I'm gonna to try to find that source, Todd. I'm still looking for it. So Todd wanna take a look at it. I'm trying to find where I had found that because I got so much stuff moving across my uh, social media and stuff like that. But I took the middle, the, me, the median of that, the uh, middle point is 65 trillion. If it just strikes the balance right in the middle, right in the middle uh, after two years, which is unbelievable to think that we could blow up that big. Uh, but uh, if you were to take that, then is it possible to think that XRP will only capture 10% of that total market share at 65 trillion and be 6 trillion? I don't think that's implausible at all. And then you got to realize all the different things that are happening in this market, which I'm going to go over because it really has me excited about that. And then when you talk about that, and this was another thing with Zach Humphreys, and he was saying why he thought it could reach um, 120 within five to 10 years. So he's going, yeah, it also includes, you know, including derivatives and tokenization. Derivatives is a 1.8 quadrillion market. So I think we well below past the $120 if you do the math on that one. But uh, from Jack to Rippler, boom, uh, Central Bank of Japan on a global scale commences utilization of XRP for worldwide payments. I was talking about how this actually happened already and that Japan is going live and I have still been scratching my head on why that really has not moved the needle uh, with uh, Japan. And then this is my conclusion, just a guesstimate is all, is that you know what they're doing it for, and I read this article and the article does go into detail talking about how what they're doing is they're using it for families kind of like MoneyGram-ish, that they're sending money back and forth between families from Japan to these three countries of the Philippines, Vietnam, and Indonesia. However, Indonesia, their GDP is the 16th largest out of about 200 countries out there. So they are up there in the top 10%. So anyway, so my only guess is that they're just doing these smaller payments and that when we see the big money start to move in our price of XRP is once they start doing mass wholesale payments. And that's what's really gonna blow us away. Uh, Raul Powell says, it's all noise, talking about yesterday's event. It says uh, leverage has been flushed out, which I talked about at the beginning of this episode. And he says, flushed out to the deep pockets. Can you say JP Morgan and other institutions bought up that beautiful XRP? Uh, and this is where I just want you guys to kind of pause because we are at a moment in history that, that what we are going to experience with our XRP has never, ever happened before. So in a lot of cases, you can take the charts and say, will we repeat 2017, 2018, which was, remind you, a 60,000% return, which is a 600X, which is mind-blowing because that would put it roughly at a $360, $360 XRP from the time that the bull run starts to the time that it hits that top of that, that pump. But anyway, here's the unprecedented events that will be making this one history. One is we just have that normal bull run you know, of our XRP. We can take those past charts and see how it acts in other previous bull runs, right? So we have that. But what's new is that we have the SEC case, which is now winding down and should hopefully knock on wood be completely over. If that happens, that in and of itself, XRP is declared not a security. That is the only token out of them that gives it that distinct advantage. But the big, big, huge difference that you just can't really put wrap your head around is that combined this bull run FOMO, especially if we get this settlement that happens between now and April, which I anticipate and expect it to happen, 
And then add into the fact that in Ripple, in their own statement, says that 2024 is going to be the year of utility and adoption of XRP. Now, add utility to the mix. This is the holy grail of events that we've been waiting. It begins this year, so the next two or four years are going to be really great. So, yeah, so two years, I'm absolutely fine with. That's kind of like, for me, I kind of got a little card. This one's going to go up there because the kind of way I look at it. Two years is when I, I hit the end zone. It's like I'm running down. I've got a whole new field ahead of me in two years' time. That's when I put it across the end zone. That's a touchdown. That's my moonshot for XRP. 36 months from now, three years, that's Venus. 48 months, that's Mars. And 60 months, that's Jupiter. That's going to be the end of 2028. Hard to believe five years from now will be then. But anyway, between the next two and four years going to be unbelievable. unbelievable. The next two years of your life are going to be unbelievable. That's all fine and dandy, but I want some price action now. I got it for you, too. And it begins with just uh, breaking news from High Vibe. Kind of neat fellow I'm watching. I like his energy. He says, XRP, prepare for, wait for it, instant retirement. Kind of like that one and throw that one out. I haven't thrown any cards out in a while. I'm going to get rusty if I don't do that. But they get all cluttered over, so I'm used to kind of stack them neat. But we'll do it. We'll throw a few on the way out. Uh, so this begins with a little TA down by the beach. Is that uh, XRP did revisit. It is revisiting. Interestingly enough, that 58 cent breakout where we got the summary judgment. Okay? And what's really neat is XRP goes down and kisses the three-year XRP BTC low on the charts and it's only happened a very few times so we're at the bottom 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 of the xrp btc charts and so does that mean that we're about to rocket launch and decouple let's dig down into it it says uh join and coin i watched a four minute video on his he has great price analysis and ta he says biggest indicator a breakout is imminent it says weekly rsi he says we needed to pull that rsi back to 50 which is the median that's right in the median 35s kind of in the, in the basement and then up here around 90s, 80s kind of at the high. And then if, if XRP is at 90, 93, there's your sell target, not financial advice. Then he says we needed to get retest, get in that median point for blast off. And says this is where the major moves begin when we start at that 50 points. Only happened a couple of times. So are we days away from going parabolic? One of the last charts I looked at, which was last night, which had me smiling, is that on the daily, no, on the weekly chart, if we start to make our move, we are actually, and I, I concur and agree, we're days away from moving. And XRP could make its move within the next six weeks. And if we hit the top of the FIV levels, and if it repeats 2017, for this first wave, this first part, remember we got the six month space between the last 8X pump, but on this first part, we could be looking at around the third week of February, be about right or this yeah about the third week of february we could be staring down at a 26 dollar xrp if the charts repeat that'll do it for me everybody everybody have a great day i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out